Elden Ring's map is barely ever talked about, and it really should be talked about much, much more. Right when you step out of the starting area, one of the first things that you will see is the big, huge castle up on a hill. That's already good map design because you kind of want to go there. Also, if you look to your right a little bit, huge tree. That is like the landmark of the whole game. Every single place you go, you will be able to see this tree. And right now, it seems pretty close. But if you start venturing over there, it becomes clear that you cannot reach that area. Another small detail that a lot of people actually have not noticed is you can see the mountaintops of the giants. You can see the little forge up there. It seems so tiny from way back here, but once you actually get up there, it is gigantic. Now what actually brings this map design up to one of the greatest map designs ever created? Because there have been some incredible map designs before in other games. You see, a lot of players, when they see that big tree, what do they want to do? They want to go over to it. But anybody who has played Elden Ring before knows that you cannot get over there. You see, when you start riding over there, what will happen is you soon realize you are not getting any closer to this tree. And you can really realize that because there's a big tower right up there. And that is definitely getting closer. But then if you look to the tree, it's not. It's like, it's just staying there. Um, so some people just give up here. But then some people keep riding. And they're just wasting their time. Because as you continue getting closer, you will be faced with the fact that that, you cannot get to that yet. You have to keep riding and riding, but still, it, you're not even close to being able to get there. And once you really start getting way up here, then the tree will go away because you are up on Storm Hill. And the tree will go away. I mean, if you even try and continue running over that way, you will eventually get to a cliff. But a lot of people who are pretty dumb forget that it's even there anymore. And now they have nowhere to go. So what do they do? Well, they start to explore a little bit more. If they jump down here, for instance, and do continue going to where that tree would be, then they will come to a ledge, they still cannot see it, and there's no way to get there. So either they will go right or left, but right, there is a cliff. So I'm guessing if they are smart enough, they will start going back to the right. Now as they're going to the right, they will actually reach around this where you are supposed to go at the beginning, which would be to Margit. You see, if you just keep hugging this wall, you will eventually get to around where you're supposed to be because you still don't have a way to get up there, really, until you get down here, which is where you are supposed to go. Now they've made it to the main road. And, I mean, there is a way to skip the castle by going this way. But the road, there is no road that continues going that way. So, they will continue following the road. And then where does that lead them? To the place where they are supposed to be. Which is Margit. So you see, that already puts them into the first area that they are supposed to be. Just because of them going to the tree, or even trying to go to the castle, it will most likely always lead them to Stormvale. Now, like I said before, they could have skipped it, but that is kind of highly unlikely just because of where the location is. Because if you keep going on that road, you will get to a bridge, and the bridge will be broken. So most of them, if they do go past there, will turn around. And then they will be at Stormvale. Now, Stormvale is pretty simple, so once they get through it, they should pop out on the other side. You see, now they're on the other side. And in Lyurnia, there's really only one thing, and that is swamps. So there is absolutely nothing around. I mean, there are some hills and stuff, but other than that, there's nothing. But if you look in the distance, 
you will see the school, which is over there. Now, they won't really know it's a school or anything, but it's a building. It's a landmark. It's an area where they should go. And that is where they will go. You see, the fascinating thing about Elden Ring is they tell you basically nothing. They never tell you where to go. They never tell you what to do. But you go there anyways. Now, there are some a few NPCs, like the one that's in this church, that will speak of the area and of the school. But he will not tell you to go there. He will not say, you go there and do this. This is how you beat the game. He will just say, oh yeah, by the way, there's a school there if you want to check it out. So, yeah, once you really get down here, the only thing that is out there is the school. And as you get closer, it seems bigger and you can see it clearer. And that's just all like that is you your next destination. That is where you want to go. Once you beat up Ranala, the game, it kind of just doesn't say anything else. You see, at the beginning, there were a few people who told you where to go, if you were to talk to them. Um, but once you're done in this basically midway game, they don't tell you where to go. But you see, now that you're done with that, you are basically one step closer to the tree. The tree is a lot bigger here. You see, you can always see this tree. So this is always kind of your destined landmark. And in the end, this is where you have to go. So most people will continue going that way. Now once you appear over here, it's basically just following this road. And you will get to the capital. Now the capital is a very confusing place. At this point, you are so close to the tree that it is basically emitting so much light and everything that it's just brightening up the whole area you don't even need a sun anymore that's just the landmark you are right here but you see the capital is very confusing there is basically no straight way to go well there is but it they do not tell you now you would think that because of all the past experience that you have had with going to the right location this would be pretty easy. Now you come from over here, and there is a road that is leading that way. That is where you should go. But if you follow that road, and you will get to a section that makes absolutely no sense. Now you see, you would think, because of all your past experience, you have, and you have also came to a new spot that seems right, you would continue going down the big road where there is a big door that you would assume you can open, and then you can just march right into the capital. Well, that is not how it works in this game. Now, on my first playthrough, I was lost, because that is exactly what I had thought, and this is exactly what a lot of people had thought. And because this is late game, and they do not tell you where to go, you are extremely confused what is going on. You think you might need some sort of key, you might need to pull some le lever, but no. You cannot get past this big huge door. And once you unlock the map, you will realize why. And this is because the door is holding in a whole ton of water. If you open up this door, which would be impossible because of so much water, but if the door had opened up, all of this would be gone and flooded. But that doesn't even matter, because like I said, it doesn't even open up. But... Before you even got the map, because not everybody gets the map, not even everybody looks at the map, you will be lost, and probably will have to resort to Google to understand this, because for all you newbies out there, this is not how you get into the capital, not even close, you have to go down a side path, which is confusing, like why did they put this here? And you don't even follow this road, because if you follow this road, you'll just go out of the capital. You have to get off of the road to continue. And it's not that that's poor map design. Like, it's good It's good to have to resort. But this is the only area where the map does slack. Because it is fine that you have to get off the road 
you have to resort to not taking the road all the time. But this is into late mid game, which means every single thing that you have done before, you have basically taken the road. And then at nearing the end of the game, well, not nearing, nearing, but closer to the end of the game, they just stop doing that. It kind of throws you off guard. So that is the only thing in this game, as in map wise, which does not make much sense. Now, once you beat the boss guarding the door, you will be able to enter into the capital. Now, this is a fairly easy place to maneuver. And one of the best parts about this, probably, is right when you enter the capital, you can see where you gotta go. This first spot that opens up, you can see the tree. You can see a door in the tree. This is excellent map design. Like, if you really think about it, they are showing you exactly where you need to go. They do not tell you how you get there, but they are telling you, yo, this is where you gotta go. Because it is pretty clear that this tree is not just here for a nice little decoration. No, this is very important, and it is very important. And then you explore the capital, which is a fairly easy place to maneuver, because there's it's not too difficult. There's really not any side paths. It's basically just keep moving forward. And then you get to the door, you realize it is locked, and you have to move on to Mountaintop of the Giants. Now this is where the video will come to an end. And yes, there are more places that you have to go to in this game. It's not like the game is done from here. You gotta go to the mountaintop of Giants. You gotta go to Rumble, to Far Missoula. And then you just have to come back here. But why I'm not going into those is because mountaintop of the Giants, you just keep going up. Fairly simple. You just see the big forge and you go up. Far Missoula. It's just a legacy dungeon, basically. And then you just come back here, and there are four bosses in a row that you have to defeat. So, yeah, there you go. That was the video. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys kind of saw the map, how I saw it. And it is pretty cool once you start thinking about it, as in the game perspective. The creators of this game, how much detail they had to put into it. It's not just making the game look good, it's making the game look good, gameplay-wise good, and also just traverse, just moving throughout the map, because this is an open world. You can go wherever you want to go. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, consider subbing and liking the video, it helps out a lot. And see you next time.